Uh, here's a little one for you real quick. A little side note. This is from Money Talks. He says, why would God tell all the prophets before Jesus that I'm one and then change his mind and say, I'm three. God does not play oh. games with us. So please give a logical answer. And so, uh, Sam, what we have here is, a, is another example of, let me get all my information about Judaism and Christianity and the Old Testament and the New Testament from Muslim speakers. And those Muslim speakers say, that, oh, everyone always said one in an absolute Unitarian sense. And then Christians came along and started saying three in a Trinitarian sense, even though they're also saying one, they're saying three in one. And therefore, the Christian message contradicted everything before it. Well, uh, one, one question, um, Muslims who are listening to your guys, did you bother for even a second to actually study what ancient Jews believed and what the ancient prophets said? Or yeah. did you just listen to the same guys who lie to you about everything else they ever tell you? Who did you listen to? I just listened to the same, I just listened to uh, my, my standard Muslim Muslim apologist. You mean the same guys who tell you that, that the, the, the Torah has been corrupted and the gospel has been corrupted, even though neither has been corrupted according to Allah, the same guys who lie to you about that? Yeah, those guys. And, and really, and now they're telling you that all the prophets before Jesus said one, again, in a Unitarian sense. We agree on one, right? Um, but one in a Unitarian sense, that's what all the prophets said. And then suddenly Christians come along and they start saying three. Any Muslim wants to take up the challenge on what the Old Testament teaches about the unity of God and what the Quran teaches about the unity of God, I'm ready, willing, and able. Like I said, my challenge with none is, as the Quran teaches Tawheed, because even the oneness that Money Talks is referring to, not only is it not taught in the Hebrew Bible, not only is it not taught in the New Testament, it's not even taught in the Quran. Let me shock you Muslims and I'm challenging you, prove me wrong. Here's an open challenge. David would just said, he'll host the debate on his channel. A channel. The Quran itself has its own corrupt form of a trinity. It's not the true trinity of the Bible, but it has a trinity nonetheless. In fact, it has a quadrinity, if we add the hadiths, even more than that. But I can show you from the Quran, Allah is not a singular person. That's why I'm challenging Adnan Rashid. Debate me. Does the Quran teach Tawheed? It doesn't. You've been deceived. You've been hoodwinked. You've been, um, you know, just misled. Let's do it. Let's see who's right. What do you got to fear? It's your book, right? The Quran is your book. You should have confidence to refute a kafir like me. Mm. One that the Quran says is the worst of all creatures, the worst of all beasts, right? You should be able to put me in my spot and show me that's one thing we'll refute you and decimate you on. Tawheed, it's clearly taught in the Quran. Take me up on it, school me, expose me if you think that this is an airtight argument from the Quran. But we know you won't, and I know Adnan won't. So I'm calling him out, prove me wrong.